Hey guys, what is up and welcome to my channel, It's a Hardback Life. My name is Jordan and today I'm going to be doing something that I shockingly have not done in the past two or three months since I've had this channel officially. Um, and that is a book review. Yes, I know, shocking. I have not done a book review, book review yet and I've read about like 15 books as of today because I finished the book I'm talking about today so and that is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch now I know I'm really late in the game with this book because this book came out in 2016 but I just decided to pick it up because I think I saw it on book of the month's website um, so for those of you who don't know, Book of the Month is a subscription where you can choose between five books, um, one being your choice of the Book of the Month, and the others, like, they have two add-ons, and I chose Dark Matter as one of my add-ons for me, and I didn't get to it till, obviously, June here, but I absolutely loved this book, you guys. All right, with, let's get right into this. All right, so like I said, um, we're going to talk about Dark Matter. Um, so just a brief, Jason Dessen is the main character, and he's living, you know, his normal mundane life. He's a husband, a father, and he's also a physics teacher at a at local college in Chicago, Illinois, and one thing, he always looks back at his life, what it would have been had he not um, decided to end, like go forward with his girlfriend after he found out she was pregnant, because he had um, high hopes of being a world-renowned scientist and huge potential. Because he was on the brink of discovering something very huge. And um, I think it was quantum physics. Yeah, so he was on the brink of something had he gone forward with his studies and his research. And one night he goes out um, drinking and celebrating with one of his former roommates in college, Ryan, and he, after he has those drinks, he leaves, and he gets kidnapped at gunpoint, and he's forced to, like, they take this person, makes him go to this warehouse, and next thing you know, this person knocks him out, and then Jason wakes up in this lab. And he finds out soon enough that he is in an alternate reality where his wife that he had in his um, original life is not his wife in this new reality. His son doesn't exist, and he is not a physics professor. He is a world-renowned um, scientist and genius, like his, well, his like, aspiration so, his life just basically flipped around, and this whole book is basically him just trying to figure out how he got there, why this is happening, and how is he going to get back to his life with his wife and his son. In this, this book is really good, you guys. I... It's very fast paced and yeah from the first chapter it like just hits you super fast well not super fast just like gradually within the first chapter but it hits you and it keeps going there's so many really crazy twists and turns that uh, you don't see coming and uh, it's just full of surprises and um, there's a lot of amazing stuff you figure out later in the book 
that is just like mind blowing. And for those, it's a oh, it's a sci-fi thriller, by the way. And I myself, I don't typically read a lot of sci-fi. Sci-fi, I read a little bit, but like not one that's like really heavy on the sci-fi. And so this one, I was happy because there was a happy medium between a sci-fi and thriller. And the science stuff in this book, it the uh, Blake, the author Blake Crouch, makes it very easy for someone who is not super into like physics, like myself. I didn't take physics in high school, so I was being introduced to something completely different. Excuse me, guys. There's something on my glasses. Um, yeah. So I, I'm. Not someone who, like, would be drawn normally to, like, this type of book. But it was calling to me because, I mean, look at the cover. It, it's beautiful. And very eye-catching. Anyway, but yeah, the, the science is very easy to understand. And the author makes sure to go back and explain stuff every time. Um, and, like I said, the thriller part... Is definitely there because there's a constant like battle for like Jason like he's running from these people who want him and then he's also trying to get back to his life so yeah it's, it's very crazy and it's not just like sci-fi thriller there's also a love story involved too because it it talks hugely like how much he loves his wife and how much he's dedicated to wanting to be with her and his son again. It's oh gosh, guys, it's jaw dropping and thrilling and gripping. Uh, I just I love this book so much. I gave it a five out of five out of five stars, and I saw on Goodreads um, just how much praise this book got and. I see why, because it is a brilliant and worthwhile, it's a, it's a great book, and I actually did not know, I looked up the author, he's written some books that I've heard of, and I'm shocked that I've never read them, <laughs> like um, Wayward Pines, if you're familiar with the TV series, that's based off of his book, I think the um, Wayward Pines trilogy. And I'm definitely going to read those. I also just bought from my book of book of the month subscription. Oh, they're about to fall. Um, I just bought his one of his other big books, Recursion, which I was on the book of the month um, selections from 2019. But it was an ad I used it as an add-on from this month. But yeah, anyway, you guys should definitely go. Like, get this book, or just get it on audiobook, whatever. It's so good. And I've heard the narrator on the audiobook version is really, really good. Anyway, that was my book review, you guys. Like I said, you won't be disappointed. Go get the book. Have a great day.